Who are the best governors in the country? We don't really need to guess. Just ask yourself, where are people moving? Are they moving to Michigan? Are they moving to New York? Are they moving to California? All great states, but run by total incompetence, political hacks, corrupt people. No, they're moving to Florida, actually. People who want to live a free American life are moving to Florida. Ron DeSantis is the governor of Florida. And if you're the Democratic Party or its minions in the media, this is a huge problem because the guy's succeeding. Clearly, that's why people are moving to his state. So you better crush him before he gets elected to something else. And last night, CBS did its best. 60 Minutes reported that Ron DeSantis is bad because he authorized the supermarket chain Publix to distribute the corona vaccine in Florida. And he did that for one reason. Publix donated money to Ron DeSantis. Is that real? <laughs> well, no. First, the head of Florida's emergency management department, who's a Democrat, tweeted that his division, not the governor's office, had recommended Publix. Okay, so it's clearly not true. Then it emerged that 60 Minutes deceptively edited their reporter's exchange with Ron DeSantis. Here's what they aired on the show. Publix, as you know, donated $100,000 to your campaign, and then you rewarded them with the exclusive rights to distribute the vaccination in so Palm Beach. So first of Beach. all, that, what you're saying is wrong. How, how is that not pay to play? That, that's a fake narrative. I met with the county mayor, I met with the administrator, I met with all the folks at Palm Beach County, and I said, here's some of the options. We can do more drive-through sites, we can give more to hospitals, we can do the Publix. And they said, we think that would be the easiest thing for our residents. But Melissa McKinley, the county commissioner in the Glades, told us the governor never met with her about the public's deal. The criticism is that it's pay to play, governor. It's wrong. It's, wrong. it's a fake narrative. I just disabused you of the narrative and you don't care about the facts. So that's the woman CBS sent down to stop Ron DeSantis before he gets bigger. And that's what they aired on the show. Here's the full tape. As we got into January, we wanted to expand the distribution points. So yes, you had the counties, you had some drive through sites, you had hospitals that were doing a lot, but we wanted to get it into communities more. So we reached out to other retail pharmacies, Publix, Walmart. Obviously, CVS and Walgreens had to finish that mission. And we said, we're gonna, we're gonna use you as soon as you're done with that. For the Publix, they were the first one to raise their hand, say they were ready to go. And you know what? We did it on a trial basis. I had three counties. I actually showed up that weekend and talked to seniors across four different publics. How was the experience? Is this good? Should you think this is the way to go? And it was 100% positive. It's funny you didn't see any of that in 60 minutes. Apparently they ran out of minutes. We don't spend a lot of time defending politicians on the show. Normally we attack them and enjoy it. But this was such an obvious hit, such a transparent political move that we just couldn't resist. We wanted to talk to the governor himself, Ron DeSantis. Governor of Florida joins us tonight. Governor, thanks so much for coming on. It's kind of hard to imagine. I was just thinking the other day, all these people moving to Florida, they're probably going to try and take out DeSantis pretty soon. It didn't take them long, did it? Well, not only that, Tucker, but lost in this is we vaccinated now three and a half million senior citizens. We were the first state to say we're doing seniors first. We're not going to follow the CDC's recommendation. And what we have done has worked. And they didn't want to discuss that. And obviously, they selectively edited the background. They tried to act like there was a conspiracy with Publix, ignoring the fact that other pharmacies were involved before Publix, doing all our long-term care facilities, and ignoring the fact that I met with the county mayor, who's now is a Democrat, who said what, what uh, 60 Minutes has done is bunk. Uh, but the, Palm Beach calculated 90% of their seniors live within a mile and a half of a Publix. So when we put it in there, their numbers started going through the roof. So it succeeded there. But what they didn't tell you also, Tucker, is when there was a need in a more rural part of the county, like near Lake Okeechobee, we set up a separate site in a small town called Pahokee. They didn't tell you that. They didn't tell you that we were doing African-American church vaccination drives before Publix ever gave a single shot. They didn't tell you that. They didn't tell you that hospitals were doing shots starting in the third week of December because it didn't fit the narrative. They don't believe in facts. It was a political narrative. It was done with malicious intent and a reckless disregard for the truth. They would not talk to the people who were most relevant to this because they know those key Democrats, Jared Moskowitz, Mayor Dave Kerner, would blow up their narrative. So they just put their head in the sand and pretended like those facts didn't exist. I, I didn't watch the show because it's sad to see something as great as 60 Minutes so thoroughly degraded as it has been. 
But really quick, did they mention the bottom line number, which is the corona death rate? How does Florida's death rate compare to, say, I don't know, New York or California? Well, New York is one of the top in the country. Florida, there's 26 states that are higher than Florida per capita mortality, and there's 40 states that are higher than us for 65 and up mortality, which is, that was our focus. And now, since we vaccinated so many seniors, we are seeing the hospitalizations among seniors plummet. So what we did has worked. Uh, and obviously, they were in Florida for three months, 60 minutes, trying to drudge up any dirt that they could use to smear me. And the best they could come up with is a baseless conspiracy theory that was easily debunked, not just by me, which they had to edit out, but by two very prominent Democrats in the state of Florida. I doubt it will be the last. If people keep coming to your state, I have the feeling that we'll see more 60 minutes uh, on you and not in a good way. Ron DeSantis, Governor of Florida, thank you. Thanks.